Hi you guys, this is another recording coming from the mountains in Spain, in the Pyrenees. And I am so delighted to see that you guys are all practicing and those, this is, has such a motivating effect uh, for me to continue to make these videos even when I'm traveling. So today is all about a strengthening or building the witness strengthening building the witness if the witness in our daily lives is present all the time we become way more aware of how we create our own lives all the time and that we are never victims to circumstances so we don't control the outside world we only control the inside world and we are brought up with this idea that everything needs to come from the outside world our happiness our satisfaction um, the whole life is built from from in the outside world and the opposite is true everything is coming from inside from behind our eyes the way we deal with everything that's coming towards us the way we take it in the way we see it the way we interpret it and also the what we do with that information and if we want to use that information of everything coming at us in our lives, circumstances, stories, happenings, if we want to be able to move and dance with that, with this information, then we need courage, a lot of it, courage and strength, and also a strong witness mind. Because if we have this strong witness mind, we can choose our reactions to circumstances and happiness lo does lie within us and the way we are capable to be present in the moment and to be able to present in the moment asks from us to be able to slow down slow down so this practice is working on um building this courage, building this capacity to slow down and not being pulled out and away from us, but sticking to the witness mind and mainly presence. So come and sit with me. We're going to start this session with the traditional Kundalini mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, referring to I bow to the divine Om Namo and I bow to the teacher inside of us and the teachings that bring us from darkness into light darkness into light referring to the darkness of the ego mind the 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 thinking mind so the the fearful the thoughts all the time that want to plan strategize look forward grip to things and the light representing the mystery, trust, faith, and that everything is unfolding exactly the way it should for us to be able to grow from all our experiences. So Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. Rub your hands. And so singing this mantra is already connecting us to this mystery of life that we don't take anything for granted and that we can see with open eyes during our days and receiving everything as a gift for us life is happening for us all right take the hands together take a big deep inhale Deep inhale. 
exhale, bring the hands to the knees, keep your eyes closed, and we're going to start with our stufi grind, circling around, waking up the hips. So close your eyes, gaze to the middle of the skull, inhale coming forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. So if you're breathing slowly, your movement needs to go also slowly. Switch directions. As you go forward, you hollow the lower back. As you go backward, you round. So it really is movement in the hips. Rounding, hollowing as you go forward. Rounding as you go backward. Hollowing as you go forward. And when you stay in the middle, you take a big deep inhale. Fully exhale. Center your attention to the middle of your skull. One more. Inhale, belly forward. Rib cage out. Chest lift. Exhale, chest, ribcage, belly. One more, inhale, belly forward, ribcage out. Chest lifts, feel the back of the heart opening up. And exhale, chest, ribcage, belly. Nice. So from here, we're going to place both of the hands on the shins. So see if you can see my leg. Yes. All right. Now, inhale, exhale. Now, it is of super importance that you close your eyes and that you gaze into the middle of the skull. Why? Because it will center your attention. It will help you tremendously to stay away from the identifications of the blah, 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 the never ending blah, blah, blah. And it will re keep reminding you to stay present in your body. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, just bring the hands on the knees. So we are unlocking the blockages along the spine. So the spine, central nervous system, the main meridians walking along the central nervous system. And it often gets blocked because life is happening and we get tense. And this brings about knots in the nervous system, in the muscles, in the connective tissue. So this is what we are opening now, the dormant energy, which is seated in the lower back, in the sacrum. And through the movements, we are bringing up that energy to the brain, to the middle of the skull, where there is the pituitary gland. And, um, and the other horm uh, other gland, which I will absolutely come wake up to it later when I don't force myself to think about it. 
So, and those glands are producing all those nice hormones where we can concentrate, where, from where we can concentrate much better, from where we can be much more present, dopamine, serotonin. So gazing to the middle of the skull, combining with opening those nuts along the central nervous system, along the spine, will help us to activate that center in the brain from where we live. Inhale, hold your breath, squeeze the pelvic floor muscle, gaze to the middle of the skull. And exhale. Deep inhale. Slowly exhale. Focus on the sensations. Where do you feel an effect in your body? I feel it in my feet, in my legs. And if you don't feel anything, that's fine too. Already putting your attention on trying to sense it is a step closer to we to start sensing it later in time just stick to the practice trust the process bring your hands on your shoulders flex your feet so your feet are strong they're activated because then the base of the posture is grounded so the upper body can flourish open and has got more stability and so faith to open up why do i say faith because faith is connected to stability and our base our legs and our feet are stable so the upper body can feel more free it's the same as if your shoulders are weak and you're sitting like this all day then the neck tends to tense up because it doesn't have any freedom because it's 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 put the, the the muscles on the shoulders are pulling forward so the ten the neck doesn't have much space to to move if you're got a strong core strong shoulders and your posture is wide then the neck has got so much more freedom so it is the same with uh, the base if the if if here is everything strong then the upper body can flourish open so bring the hands on the shoulders inhale exhale So now we're doing another movement also to untie the knot along the spine in the central nervous system. Meridian wise, it's called Nadi and Sushumna, Nadi Ida Pingala, female, male side of the spine. Sushumna is like the main thick meridian running across the spinal cord so that the energy can flow freely from the base of the spine towards the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. Inhale, exhale. Keep the elbows high, keep the chest lifted. Inhale, hold, squeeze your pelvic floor, visualize energy going up to the middle of the brain. And exhale, close your eyes, take a big deep inhale. Fully, fully exhale. I can already feel a little buzz. Waking up the body. So from here, we're going to take the feet forward. Yeah. 
you're going we're going to go to the belly so you're going to take your thumbs up you're going to want to have the shoulders and the thumbs one line so here we go flex your feet use the muscles of the legs they're strong we're going to go inhale exhale Activating the belly. Keep the shoulders and the arms strong. Inhale, hold, squeeze, and exhale, let go. Be simply with the sensation. and gaze to the middle of the skull. So that way you're more present with whatever is happening in your mind. Come back to normal seated. Ooh. So yeah, my camera needs a little time to adjust. That's totally fine. We can continue, it will I will come back sharp later, it doesn't matter. You don't need to see me sharp in order to hear me, right? Um, so we are going to bring the hands on the shoulders again. And we're gonna go this time move from the right to the left. So, but in diagonal way. So inhale, exhale, inhale, Inhale, exhale. Again, opening the portals so that the highway of the meridians walking along the spine are freely and open. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Stick with me, you guys. The camera will find its way. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. Very nice. Come back to the middle. Take a big deep inhale. Fully, fully exhale. All right. Now stay as you are. We're simply going to go inhale looking to the left. And exhale, looking to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right.
Close your eyes. And then stay into the middle. Take a big deep inhale. Fully, fully exhale. Big deep inhale. Fully, fully exhale. All right, now just simply stay with your eyes closed. It doesn't matter that the image is a little, feel is not really sharp because it really is all about going in. So that's a funny universal joke right there. That the thing, it's not important if you can see me sharp because it's about you going inside of you, you meeting yourself, you meeting your witness mind and this definitely is a you know a, a cosmic joke you know i have so i'm traveling uh, a little while now and i will for the coming weeks still um i of course uh, have things happening it's in a, an adventure i have been praying for stuff and i have to say that the universe has been answering my prayers all the time it's magical right that i'm living in the moment so um yeah this is one of them and i of course can choose to be convinced that it's simply technology not functioning which it is but the moment that it happens and it doesn't happen a lot you know because Often I have very good images. Um, I choose to have this perspective of, um, um, yeah, universe helping you and me to go in, especially you, because you're probably very used to having a sharp vision. And now since you have your eyes closed, it doesn't matter. All right. So before we go to our um big meditation thing um we're simply going to lift the shoulders up and down so shoulder shrugs inhale exhale Inhale, hold, and let go. Just three circles to the right. Keep your chest open as you're turning and three circles to the left. And then come back to the middle. All right, so our main meditation today is building the witness so we're going to have our right hand on throat level right hand on throat level yeah when i come closer it's easy for him to focus that's probably it okay <laughs> okay so right hand on throat level left hand above it and then I'd like you to stay 
I'd like you to stay really with a straight spine. So you need your core muscles. So guys, if you need a cushion, please sit on a cushion. Um, also, um, you need to be able to sit. So your core muscles need to be strong to be able to do this right. You can also go sit in a chair, okay? But be able to sit up straight. Right hand in front of the throat, left hand on top of it. Roll the shoulders to the back and tense your hands. There's energy in your hands. Yes, there we go. We go inhaling through the mouth. And then exhaling through the nose. You're going to stare to the middle of the skull. That's going to be your drishti, your focus point, your visual focus point. And we're going to stay here for quite a bit. And you're just going to be really in your arms, be really in your drishti, and be really in your breath. So we're building the witness mind. There we go. Keep gazing through the middle of the skull. Keep deepening your breath. This is going to help you to slow down the mind, to stay steady in your arms. Keep tensing your hands. Keep holding the elbows at the height of the shoulders. And simply trust the process. Go in.
just observe the mind for probably thinking, I want to let my arm down, I want to stop this. So cir cir circum these thoughts and just go back to sucking in the air and letting it drop down. One more big minute. We are so strengthening our mind capacity, mind over matter. We are strengthening our vigilance, resilience. We are strengthening our capacity to be present. We're strengthening our capacity to stay calm in stressful situations. We are strengthening the capacity to observe our minds and not identify with the thoughts. We are becoming closer to mastering ourselves more and more and more. Hold, tense everything up, hands back of the shoulder, shoulder blades towards each other, squeeze your pelvic floor muscle, maybe even squeeze your face. And cannon breath out. <sighs> Inhale two more times. One more time, inhale. Mm. 
didn't want to make that noise, but that's what you should do inside of your system. And out. With your eyes closed, feel that tremendous buzz. Gaze to the middle of the skull. Sense the electromagnetic field around you. Sense the electromagnetic fault. Sense the sensations around your skin, with the whole body. Connect to, the, to this pranic body, pranamaya kosha, the second layer around the skin of the body. Develop the, this capacity to feel subtle sensations. Meet the you within you. Meet the witness. Feel how easy it is to just float. lie down for a moment. Lie flat in Shavasana. Feel how the body drops down, how all the muscles relax. Keep gazing to the middle of the skull. Keep your center. So this supported nourishing sensation you might have is so um, comforting to our being and is there all the time. We just need to tap into it. Isn't that fantastic?
Yeehaw. All right, would you guys take a big step? Ooh. And let's end this session in the traditional Kundalini Yoga way with Satnam. Truth is my identity. And may you have a very joyful night, present day today. Oops. So rub against, rub again the hands. Take a big deep inhale. Sat. Nam. So we'll end this session in a blurry way. Enjoy your day, guys. See you next time.